just like he did with these two blind men. He's passing by his people. He's passing by his people, and what's so heartbreaking this morning? His people don't want to cry out to him anymore. Unless they get in all such a bad need, then they'll cry out to him in just a time of need. And it seem like when that time of need is met, then they forget about Jesus again. Listen, nowhere in that Bible that I read God's in it, let's make a deal with it. Nowhere in that Bible that I read God as a genie. If you just take him off his shelf, rub his little head on the Bible and say, Lord, if you do this for me, I'll do that for you. Amen. That ain't Amen. God works. That's right. Amen. 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 That just ain't what God works. I read in the Bible with these two blind men. Listen, I couldn't see. They wanted something from the Lord. I wonder how many of us truly need something from the Lord today. Man, yeah, we do prideful to cry to God for him. I wonder how many times we've been in the church house and see God move. The manifestation of the Holy Spirit. And yet we just sit there and let the devil steal our blessings because we don't want to cry out to Jesus. Listen, I don't care what you think about me this morning. I'll cry out to Jesus. When I feel him in my presence, I don't care if you see me cry. I don't care if you see me shout. I don't care if you see me wrong. I want what Jesus has got for me. I want his blessing he has for me. Amen. How many of you know that you got a blessing? He wants to give us directly to you. Amen. Amen. A lot of us miss our blessing because we don't want to call out to Jesus. That's right. Yet it's so easy to call out to our wife or husband or holler our children, but we don't want to cry out to God. Mm -hmm. We're yes. coming to God's house and think everything's supposed to be in order, in which it is a certain sin. But listen, when you come in those doors right there, don't you think you cannot holler for Jesus Christ? Right. Matter of fact, when you come in those doors right there, you should be seeking Him. Calling on his name. That's where we're missing it out today. We're missing a church house today because of that. Seems like we don't want to come into God's house and want to let the fish fry on them. Hot dogs up. Or all can eat thing. They can kiss fish. Or have your fan of that. That ain't what church is about. Church is about worshiping the Lord. Amen. Church is Amen. about growing in God's Word. Amen. Church is about fellowship with one another. Right. Praying for one another. Right. And seeing God manifest His Spirit and the power and the love that He has for us. Listen, I've been to a lot of ch church meetings now. The worst I've ever been hurt has been in church. The worst I've ever had my feelings hurt has been in church. Church people. But I've grown through. I've grown a lot through. I learned a long time ago. It's because everybody comes to church, don't mean they're God like. It's because everybody sitting in a deacon panel and preaching don't mean they're God like. Amen. Amen. It's in your heart. Amen. Amen. It's in your heart. I want you to know Jesus should be in your heart. Right. You should never be ashamed to call on Jesus. Amen. I don't care where you are. I don't care what kind of denomination it is. I don't care who's preaching the Word of God. I know there's a lot of preachers that up and preach the Word of God. If you should shout it, Amen, or cry it out for Jesus, that is you to escort you to the back door. Amen. 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 That ask you to leave. Because they don't want you to disrupt their service. They want you to disrupt the people. I also know people who sit in here and see people cry, trying to get in touch with God. They get their feelings hurt. The church is something else, amen? Amen. amen. But you ought to be full of love. You ought to be full of compassion. You ought to be singing the songs of praise and praise, amen? Amen. amen. Preaching the word of God, not watering it down. <coughs> we don't have that this day and time. Amen. Because of pride. Because of self pity and stuff like that. Let me tell you something. He said, preacher, you don't know how bad I got it. I don't care how bad you got it. Jesus does. Amen. I'll tell you something. You don't know how bad I had it. I didn't come to tell you how bad I had it. Jesus knows how bad I've had it. I can look at you today and tell you, he's brought me through every little battle. Amen. He's brought me through the battles, let me grow while I was in there, and prepared me to go to the next mountaintop. Amen. You don't Amen. know what me and my wife's face. You don't know what me and my wife's face in the last month. I didn't come down here belly aching and say, oh, me. Oh, me. Let me tell you something. I'm flesh just like you. I fight the devil every day. Man, but he goes Lord. before me. 
And I'm here to tell you, I still got victory this morning. Amen. I'm here to tell you, I still call on his name. Amen. I'm here to tell you, you know better than I am, neither am I no better than you. Amen. I'm here to tell you, he's still alive and well. And he still loves me just as I am. Amen. I'm here to tell you this morning, where that hair lives you, your grandma. When the Lord prompts me, I'm going to call out on my name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's my name I, that he tells me to call him. Amen. So it's personal to me. That's the name he gave me to call him is Jesus. He says, if you come to the Father, you got to come by what? Jesus. Jesus. So that's my personal name to use to get to heaven. Amen. Amen. I'm preaching the word of God. Yes, sir. We don't do that anymore. Look at the church houses. Not just this church house. Let me tell you something. All church houses should be full. Maxed out. I'm going to tell you the reason again. Because of feelings. We wear them right here. Yep. We wear them right here. And jealousy is up here. That it'll go down here. Okay? That's the reason they ain't back. Church houses ain't full. That's also the reason the church house don't ever go on. Because this group will start one and this will get mad and start another. That will get mad and start another. Ain't but one God. That's right. Amen. So we can't get along long enough to worship God. Because we're too busy about fussing what color the cake ought to be. Or what color the carpet ought to be. Or how long the preacher should preach. Or what my kids should be doing and your kids should be doing. Hello. 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 That's preaching there, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. So I taught them a long time ago. I don't preach what they can tell me to preach. Neither I should be set on a time frame. That's right. You didn't call me. I ain't going to have to answer to you. That's right. As a pastor here, you can get together and vote me out of bed. That's fine. But I still ain't going to let you tell me how long to preach and what to preach on. Amen. 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 You can't do that. Because you didn't call me. God called me. That's right. And when God called me, I've got the answer to him. Amen. Look here. That little woman right there, she loves me. I know she loves me. Praise the Lord. Been together 39 years. Okay? I don't have to answer to her. I gotta answer to God. Amen. She don't have to answer to me. She gotta answer to God. Amen. Now I'm gonna take it to your dog line. You ain't got to answer to me. You gotta answer to God. That's Amen. right. That's right. How many times he's touched your heart and told you, just call on my name and I'll bless you. Yes. And you didn't do it. You sat there on a pew, on a filthy, nasty pew, and let the devil cheat you out of your blessing. Amen. Maybe you need a healing didn't get it because you sat there on that pew or you sat there on that couch at home and got dealing and squeezing your heart. And maybe he told you, so call that person and tell me you're sorry. And you didn't do it. They would have tell you to call that person and tell me you're sorry. But you didn't do it. You know why you didn't do it? Because of pride. You know why you didn't do it? Because of jealousy. You know why you didn't do it? Because of flesh. <coughs> we want to come to the house and go to sleep. I'm going to come to God's house and look at her watch. And here we're going into Christmas season. I don't want my kids to buy me nothing. But they're going to get you something. I don't give it about me nothing. I don't need any nothing. I really don't. The only thing I want for my kids is to love them. Praise the Lord. <coughs> I want them to love them. But I don't want them to love me more than to love God. Amen. That's the only thing I want for my kids. I prayed the other day because we ate things for <coughs> supper. And I prayed and I thank God for my journey. We started 39 years ago. And my journey has gotten stronger. And I thank God for the food getting clean with more penis than it was. And I thank God for the love of Christ growing in my family more. And I broke down and I started to cry during this Thanksgiving prayer. But I'm in every word of it. I'm not ashamed of you. Amen. Amen. And when I got through praying, my baby girl come up and hug me. Tears in her eye. Because she loved me. And another dollar text. You made me cry when you got to cry. Well, that's good. That shows me you love. That's all I want for Christmas. Because I know my kids and my grandkids still love their father, their dad, Amen. their mom. Listen, without love, you don't have anything. Amen. You go to Walmart and 
have your buggy full without love. You don't have anything. Without Jesus, you don't have love. Amen.